Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprites are here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the report for Friday, April 30th, 2021. We close out another decent month, and I'm telling you what, uh, we've got a great day in store on Friday. Going to let you know what's going on in just a minute. First, wanted to mention that if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. It is as simple as that. All right, uh, listen, we had our two draft uh, props that we talked about in yesterday's video. We released them both here for free on video, and I'm happy to say that both cashed. So thanks to those of you who jumped on board after watching the video yesterday. Uh, two nice winners, 2-0 with our props in the NFL draft. Over at DocSports.com, yet another featured play win. We had a six-star play. Our play of the day yesterday was in golf. It was an opening round uh, matchup on Sun JM over Victor Hovland. We basically got him at even money. And uh, listen, Hovland played a little bit better than I thought he was going to, but Sun JM played as well as we thought he would. Great uh, short player, great with his irons, and that's what you need at this particular course. And he got the job done, and uh, we cashed that six star play. And we're now 3 0 in golf the last two uh, uh, tournaments. We swept last week, went 2 0 in the Zurich Classic, of course, off to that winning uh, six star play on Thursday. Thursday. I do have a golf play on Friday, and uh, we'll look to make it 4-0 last week and this week uh, so far through the first two rounds of the Valspar. And uh, also wanted to mention that uh, NBA, we won our fourth in a row this week, 4-0 since Monday through Thursday, up $1,600 in pro baskets. Going to pass on Friday, man. I was looking at the card, and I mean, I looked at this card over and over. There's just way too much load management going on this card, and uh, trying to figure out who's going to play, who's not, uh, is just not something we we want to get into for Friday. I expect to be back on Saturday, but I'll tell you what, I've got you know a million books on my line service in front of me on my computer, and only one book, and they have them up every night, but only one book had any NBA lines whatsoever. So a good day for me at least to take a pass. I'm sure maybe some of you will find a couple of good spots in the NBA, but I'm going to pass in pro baskets. I do have a two-play Major League Baseball card uh, for Friday. We are up almost $1,300 with the rated, rated play that I'm going to give you on Friday's slate. If you want to jump on board over at DocSports.com on my homepage again, 2-0 Diamond Sweep or Diamond Report, if you will, on Friday's card. Uh, NHL, we've got a five-unit play going on Friday. Now, with our five-unit plays and up, our high-end plays, we are up almost $7,400 going back to last season and including this season in the NHL. So check that out over at DocSports.com. I've also got a five-unit uh, Friday soccer play, Friday afternoon in soccer. We're up over $4,100 in soccer going back to February 1st. So we got that going also. So a busy day. Golf, soccer, NHL, and Major League Baseball. And of course, we'll have Kentucky Derby matchups posted on Saturday morning. In fact, I'm going to have a Kentucky Derby report uh, for you on video on Friday night for Saturday. So you can be sure to come back and check that out. Let's get to it. Let's get to our free play uh, for Friday's card. Looking at a little Major League Baseball action. And it's the battle between the Royals and the Twins. Nice little weekend series to find out if the Twins are going to turn things around or if the Royals are going to continue to extend their lead in the Central. They're 15 and 8, Minnesota 8 and 15, yet they're not that far apart when it comes to run differential. And I think Minnesota can make up some ground here on uh, Friday. And what we're going to recommend is a first five innings play on uh, the Twins. It's around a buck 30 as I cut this video. And listen, I like Pineda in this over Singer. I know Singer's got some nice numbers to start. I don't think it's going to last that way a whole lot longer over the next few starts and also at the same time I do think we'll be able to count on Pineda. His one concern for me has been uh, his home runs allowed at home thus far but he's going up against a team that is tied for fourth lowest amount of home runs in all of Major League Baseball that being the KC Royals so I think Pineda will be all right here and here's the thing I mean KC has the better bullpen to date so far this year Kansas City's bullpen is better than the Minnesota Twins and that's why I want to cut the bullpens completely out out of the mix and look to get Pineda through the first couple of times to the batting order and get a first five win. So we are going to back the Minnesota Twins in the first five innings. That'll be on Friday's uh, contest.
contest with the KC Royals, all right? And again, don't forget big card for me, including, as I mentioned before, two plays in baseball, a play in the NHL, five-star play in the NHL, five-star play in soccer, and we've also got PGA as we look to extend that run to 4-0, all on my homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column on Friday.